Hello, ma'am. We're back with a second segment of our interview. Uh, background and family. First of all, what nationality are you? Are you? I noticed your dark skin. Are you African American? I see some Cherokee. I see that. Growing up, did you live with your biological parents or someone else? What type of housing was it when you were a kid? Was it an apartment house, a mobile home? My mother had a house. Any brothers or sisters? Yeah, six brothers and two sisters. You have six brothers and two sisters, all from the same mom and dad or different moms and dads? <laughs> same mom and dad. Wow, it's a big family. Where are they? Some of my dad. It might be one alive after uh, the coronavirus. You might be the only living one? How old did you say you were? You're 58 years old, okay. Would you like to try to find your living sibling? What? What's their name? No? Do you love them? I love them, but they can't help me. They can't help you? No. You wouldn't like to talk to them? I would love to, but they can't Talk to them now. If What's what's your living sibling's name? There was one and Walter Gilderson, Herbert Gilderson. What's the one that alive? What's the one that alive name? I don't know. That's content. You're not sure? Do you have kids? I have seven. You have seven kids. Where are they? They live with their boyfriend. Some in California, some in Las Vegas. What are their names? T.T. Laura. The Frogs. Jamila, What's the oldest one? LaFrance. LaFrance? Would you would you speak to him now? What would you say to him? Take LaFrance, I have something to tell you and talk to him. When's the last time you talked to your kids? Any of your kids? I haven't talked to them in five, in five years. You haven't spoken to any of your children in five years? Okay, we're going to end this segment of the conversation. We're going to come back with the same young lady and we're going to talk about drug use. Stay tuned.